all the time on the news. And unfortunately, the present administration is trying to push Israel towards this. And they're calling it a two-state solution. Well, you need to understand something. First off, when, when these radicals are shouting from the river to the sea, they're not talking about a two-state solution. They're talking about a final solution. But I want you to understand when people are talking about a two-state solution, what part of Israel are they talking about that Israel needs to give up? You know, you hear this all the time, that Israel uh, are, the Israelis are occupiers of Palestine. First off, most people don't even know where the name of Palestine came from. There's never been a Palestinian state. There's never been a Palestinian people. Palestine was given the name of Israel and all of Israel, Judea and Samaria from the Roman Empire right after the right around the time of the destruction of the temple. Rome could not get Israel to bow their knees to Roman gods and so the Roman Empire hated him so much. He said, "I never want to hear the name Israel. I never want to hear Judea or Samaria. From now on it's Palestine which comes from the Philistines. The Philistines, which is where modern Gaza is now, they weren't even Arabs. The Philistines, Palestine, were descendants of Greek. And so there's never been a Palestinian flag, a Palestinian people. It's, it's, it's made up history. But you're going to hear me say this. When we're talking about Palestine, for 2,000 years, the Jewish people of the land of Israel were called Palestinians. The Arab people were called Arabs. But you're going to hear me say this. If somebody is Chinese, why are they called Chinese? Because they're from China. We're Texans. Why? Because we're from Texas. What are Jews called? They're called Jews. Why? because of the land of Judea, Jews, not Palestines. There's nobody in the world called West Bankers. And so when you're hearing about the West Bank, what you're hearing about is biblical Judea and Samaria. Now, what was in this land? Well, you're about to see, but I was with the governor, you'll see, of, of uh, Samaria. And we're standing on a mountaintop overlooking the land that much of the world is saying Israel has to give up. They need to give this up, give it to the, to the Palestinian people. And as we're looking at it, we're looking at right there, just a few miles away, there's Tel Aviv. In other words, almost a rifle shot to Tel Aviv. There's Ben Gurion Airport almost a rifle shot to the airport. When President Trump flew into Israel, he flew right over this spot I'm about to show you. And I know about the military strategic points there. And that's one of the reasons Israel cannot give that up. And by the way, it's not anybody's decision except Israel what to do with their own land. But as we're standing there, there was a gentleman with us and he's a brilliant Bible scholar and he could tell I wasn't moved. And all of a sudden he said to me, Pastor Larry, see that town right down there? I said, yeah, which is surrounded by Arab villages. I said, yeah. He said, that's where Elkanon and Hannah lived. I said, wait, wait, wait. That's where Elkanon and Hannah lived? And they said, he said, yes. And I said, well, where's, where's Shiloh from here? He said, right up the wadi, right up the uh, ravine. And I said, this is, we're, that's where Elkanon and Hannah lived and they went up to Shiloh for hundreds of years, the Jewish people go to worship. And I all of a sudden realized that we weren't just looking at Judea and Samaria. We were looking at holy ground, a place in 46 trips to Israel I'd never been because it's too dangerous. Nobody took us there. I'm going to take you there today. And you're going to feel an end time anointing just like I did. Watch this and let the presence of God move your heart and your spirit. 
Now, I want you to think about this. We're standing on Mount Blessing versus Mount Curse. And here is where God spoke. Yeah, he spoke to Abraham, but he spoke it to the world. I, almighty God, the same God who said someday, Amos, Jeremiah, et cetera, et cetera, someday the Jewish people will be scattered across the four corners of the earth but I will bring them back. And here's where for, for 2,000 years, the, the, the brains of the world said, this proves your Bible's not true because there's never been a nation, no language, no government, no people, four corners of the earth, and they come back to a land. It proves your Bible's not true. But in 1948, God did exactly what he said never has happened in the history of the world, and it happened. Now, that same God said about this, from this spot right here, I will bless those who bless Israel, and I will curse those who curse you. You know, I, I believe strongly that the scripture that says, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. So it doesn't matter to me what anybody else does. Me and my family, we're standing for God, we're standing for Israel, we're standing against anti-Semitism, and we're gonna receive the blessing of God. What matters is what you do. What matters is what you do come election time. If you vote for Trump, you're voting for the blessing because he's gonna stand with the nation of Israel. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys something. I've always said there's been three major spiritual times in my life. One is when I began to serve God. I went from a heroin addict, to a child of God. Two is when I received the spirit of God, the Shekinah into my life. The third was 33 years ago when I first came to Israel and God spoke to me and he said, you've been lied to. I'm gonna teach you to reread the Bible through the eyes of a Jewish Moses, a Jewish Abraham, a Jewish Jesus, a Jewish Paul. But I've had today a fourth experience standing right here. And I'm gonna tell you something. I've had a fourth experience of God in my life. When I'm standing here, you know, I, I've, I've always heard and I've always said, you'll never fully understand the Bible until you read it from the place it was written. Folks, what was written that is affecting the world and will change your life is from this spot right now. A, 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 a couple hours ago, we saw the strategic point there's, there's Tel Aviv, there's um, uh, the, airport. the airport. There, you, you can't give that land up. There's where Hannah and Elkanon walked the valley to go to Shiloh. The beginning of prayer to God, of God saying, any of you can come to me in prayer. You don't need anybody between me and you. That was here. But now we're talking about the tomb of, of Joseph. Now we're talking about why did Joseph want to be buried right there? It's right there. It's right there. Because this is where God spoke, yes, to Abraham, but God spoke to the world. When you bless Israel, I, almighty God, the same God who said Israel would become a nation again and everybody said it'll never happen. This is the same God who said, when you bless Israel, I'll bless you. I, I know for a fact that my son Lion is alive today and my wife, Tis is alive today because of us standing with Israel. I never realized I'd be standing on the spot. I can't wait to bring you. We're going to do teachings from here. We're going to bring you here. This place right here, which is not the West Bank, this place right here, which is Samaria, Judea and Samaria, the land given to the Jewish people by Almighty God. We're standing right here. This is a life-changing experience. You need to come with us because when you come here, I guarantee you the Bible will come alive and your life will be changed. Stand with us as we stand with the nation of Israel. Israel is still at war and is still facing severe dangers in the south with Hamas and now in the north as well with the terrorist group Hezbollah launching guided missiles almost daily into the Holy Land. 
In his recent visit to Israel, Pastor Larry saw up close and firsthand just how much of a toll it's been taking on the Jewish people. In meeting with a wide range of government officials and many everyday people as well, he was reminded that while we've accomplished many incredible things, there's still so much more we can do. Pastor Larry is asking you to be a blessing this month by supporting some of our most important charitable work. Your gift today will be immediately put to work by funding our 12th mobile ICU ambulance with McGann DeVita Dome. This amazing unit is literally a hospital on wheels, providing life-saving emergency care to over 10,000 citizens in its lifetime of service. Remember, God said, I will bless those who bless Israel. What a better way to bless Israel than to help save lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for what you do for the nation of Israel. We will also use your donation to sponsor a special summer camp for 1,000 Jewish children who need healing from the traumatic effects of PTSD symptoms due to the never-ending warning sirens, constant rocket strikes, and the brutal consequences from the ongoing terrorist attacks. Just for calling to express your support for Israel, we want to bless you by sending you Larry and Tiz's amazing book, Miracles by the Moment. This is an encouraging, inspiring account of how they tapped into God's healing power in their deepest time of need. And it contains important teaching on how you can do the same. With your offering of any size today, we will also send this special anointing oil. It's to use with your family or friends who need a miracle breakthrough. James 5, 14 and 15 instructs us to anoint anyone who is sick with oil as a way to release the Lord's healing power. You can also use this to anoint your kids or grandkids as a way to dedicate them to the Lord and to release them into their God-given destiny. Whether you can contribute $25, $250, $2,500, or even more, we promise it will make an immediate difference. So please take a few moments right now and call us at 800-978-8546 and sow the very best gift you can. You can also donate through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. Or, if you prefer, you can mail your offering to the address on the screen. And now you can donate by texting the word Israel along with your gift amount to 28950. But the fastest way to bless Israel is to contact us today at 800 978 8546. With so much of the world turning against Israel, Pastor Larry is calling on every Christian and every Jew to take a stand and support Israel spiritually, prayerfully, and also financially. There's no better seed to sow than when it goes toward blessing Israel and saving Jewish lives. So thank you in advance for your generosity and for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now, let's rejoin Pastor Larry. You know, we're going to go to another spot here in just a minute. And in, in that, you're going to see me talking to these, these rabbis that came to the spot. And Josh Reinstein, uh, who's uh, the head of Israeli Ally Foundation, uh, saw them coming. And these guys are like radical to the letter of the Bible, and they fought Josh for a long time because uh, he's working with Christians and stuff. And so Josh told me, he said, when, he's, when, I, when I saw them coming, I thought, uh-oh, they're, they're coming to make trouble because this is a holy spot. This is where God spoke, Genesis 12, 3. This is it. And, and when I was done speaking, the part you're going to see now, they came up and they be and I didn't even realize it. Josh told me later they were hugging me and 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 and, and gave me something and said, "Hold on to this." And Josh said, "I never thought that I would see that because we're fulfilling Bible prophecy. Jews and Gentiles coming together. Listen, you're going to see this next spot. This is the 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 rally around the flag cry to all Christianity right now is." I will bless those who bless Israel. I will curse those who curse Israel. We're standing on the mountain of blessing. Behind us, there's vineyards and there's fig trees across its barren. Never been there before. 
A couple days later, a, a, a Jewish guy standing right there was shot from a sniper right below us. And so this is why it's never been uh, open to tourists. But when they brought me there, I thought, you know, I've always known Genesis 12. I will bless those who bless Israel. But I never thought this is the place in which it was spoken. There's a place where God spoke this to Abraham. That's where we're standing right there on this video. This is why when Joseph died in Egypt, he said, don't leave me here. Get me back to the place of blessing. I want to be buried there. Now, I don't know if I should say this, but th there was such an anointing. As a matter of fact, the governor took my teaching and printed it out in, in Hebrew and sent it out throughout all of Israel. And they told me, they said, when you come back, we're going to take you. You'll be the first Gentile to pray in the tomb of Joseph. When they go down there, it's so dangerous, they have to go down with 200 soldiers. So when you're hearing, well, they need to give up this land. We're not talking about just some land. We're talking about Bible. We're talking about Holy Land. We're talking about where Hannah birthed prayer. We're talking about Shiloh, where the tabernacle stood for hundreds of years. We're talking about where Joseph is buried. We're talking about the birthing of the father of all blessings, Genesis 12, 3, right there. And when we come back, I'm going to release that anointing on you and your family, on your ministry, on your life, on your children. But let me ask you to do something. We've got gifts for you, and we're doing the ambulance, and we're doing the, a, a, a holy project with the children. This project with the children is a holy project. The, a, a, you know, everything we do in Israel is a holy project. But this project in treating these children that have gone through horrors, like we can't imagine, folks, this is a holy, holy project. 1,000 kids, $70 a, 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 a child who have seen things that nobody, no adult should see. And we're going to partner with God and the government of Israel to take care of these kids. But one of the things right now with everybody protesting Israel is Israel, their hearts are just moved knowing they have a friend. Anyone who will call in, call that number and just say, tell Israel we're standing with them. Anybody that calls in, we're going to send you this book that, that Tiz and I wrote on Tiz's miracle, Lion's miracle, miracles by the moment. Because God really does mean I will bless. Almighty God will bless you in ways beyond anything when you stand and bless the nation of Israel. Come back with me in just a moment. I want to release that anointing from this holy place on your project gift for a holy blessing to the children of the nation of Israel. I'll be right back. You know, I just did a filming with the uh, governor of Samaria. We're right here in Samaria. The world tries to call it the West Bank, but this is Samaria, Judea and Samaria. And you know, I've said this before, but I want to say it again. The reason why people are called Chinese is because they're from China. The reason why we're called Texans is because we're from Texas. The reason why these people are called Jews is because they're from Judea and Samaria. But I want you to know, and, and I just said this, I've had three life-changing experience in my walk with God. One, when I gave my life to the Lord. Two, when I got filled with the Holy Spirit. Three, when 33 years ago, I came to Israel for the first time. Today has been number four. I'm telling you, it has, my, my spirit is overflowing with the anointing and the presence of God. Where we're standing right now in Samaria, right below us, is the tomb of Joseph. Remember when Joseph died in Egypt and he said, I want you to get me back. And they buried him right here. Why did they bury him at this spot in this specific place? Because this is where God spoke to Abraham, Genesis 12, 3. God spoke right here and said, those who bless Israel, I almighty God, I'm going to get involved with your life, and I, Almighty God, will bless you. But those who curse Israel, 
I, almighty God, will curse you. Right here, we're on a mountaintop with trees and flowers and shrubs. This is called the Mount of Blessing. Right over here, where it's barren and nothing grows, is called the Mountain of Curses. Why? Because from here, God proclaimed, not just to Abraham, all the way back in the book of Genesis, but even louder today, as there is a battle going on, and we have the uh, Biden administration, and we have the UN telling the Jews, get out of this land. It belongs to Palestine. I want you to realize right here, this is where God said, I will bless those who bless Israel. And so we're standing on the Mount of Blessings, and I want to release to you all of our partners who have stood with us for 33 years and all of our new partners who are standing with us to be a blessing to Israel. I can't wait to bring you here. You can feel it. You can feel the presence and the, the, the anointing of the spirit of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Like very few places, just a couple of days ago, somebody asked me, what are your favorite spots in Israel? And I said, the Western Wall, the Temple Mount. I said, uh, Capernaum. I said, Shiloh. But I'm telling you, this is a new place. I have never been here. And be honest with you, I've never felt what I feel right now. This is it. And so from the spot, from the mountain of blessing, I release God's blessing. The same blessing that God released on Abraham and all the Jewish people. From this spot to wherever you are, I release that blessing on you. This blessing, I believe, is coming more alive than in the time of Abraham. Because this blessing, standing with Israel, will bring the coming about of the Messiah. So from the Mount of Blessings, God bless you for standing with the nation of Israel. Israel is still at war and is still facing severe dangers in the south with Hamas and now in the north as well with the terrorist group Hezbollah launching guided missiles almost daily into the Holy Land. In his recent visit to Israel, Pastor Larry saw up close and firsthand just how much of a toll it's been taking on the Jewish people. In meeting with a wide range of government officials and many everyday people as well, he was reminded that while we've accomplished many incredible things, there's still so much more we can do. Pastor Larry is asking you to be a blessing this month by supporting some of our most important charitable work. Your gift today will be immediately put to work by funding our 12th mobile ICU ambulance with McGann DeVita Dome. This amazing unit is literally a hospital on wheels, providing life-saving emergency care to over 10,000 citizens in its lifetime of service. Remember, God said, I will bless those who bless Israel. What a better way to bless Israel than to help save lives. Thank you, thank you, Thank you so much for what you do for the nation of Israel. We will also use your donation to sponsor a special summer camp for 1,000 Jewish children who need healing from the traumatic effects of PTSD symptoms due to the never-ending warning sirens, constant rocket strikes, and the brutal consequences from the ongoing terrorist attacks. Just for calling to express your support for Israel, we want to bless you by sending you Larry and Tiz's amazing book, Miracles by the Moment. This is an encouraging, inspiring account of how they tapped into God's healing power in their deepest time of need. And it contains important teaching on how you could do the same. With your offering of any size today, we will also send this special anointing oil. It's to use with your family or friends who need a miracle breakthrough. James 5, 14 and 15 instructs us to anoint anyone who is sick with oil as a way to release the Lord's healing power. You can also use this to anoint your kids or grandkids as a way to dedicate them to the Lord and to release them into their God-given destiny. 
Whether you can contribute $25, $250, $2,500, or even more, we promise it will make an immediate difference. So please take a few moments right now and call us at 800-978-8546 and sow the very best gift you can. You can also donate through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. Or, if you prefer, you can mail your offering to the address on the screen. And now you can donate by texting the word Israel along with your gift amount to 28950. But the fastest way to bless Israel is to contact us today at 800 978 8546. With so much of the world turning against Israel, Pastor Larry is calling on every Christian and every Jew to take a stand and support Israel spiritually, prayerfully, and also financially. There's no better seed to sow than when it goes toward blessing Israel and saving Jewish lives. So thank you in advance for your generosity and for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now, let's rejoin Pastor Larry. I really feel, and forgive me for being sounding super spiritual, but I really feel that as we as we're involved with this project of of helping these children and and saving lives in Israel, what I felt on that place where God spoke to Abraham, there's there's the holy places right there. This is an end time beginning of the end time anointing, the end time transfer of wealth, and the end time signs, wonders, and miracles. I I feel it now two weeks after coming home, and I release this on you. Father, as we bless the nation of Israel, we receive that original, the father of all blessings, spoken right there from the mountain of blessings, and I release that anointing on every home, family, business, on every body, on every, every, every child, on every grandchild, on every, every ministry, I release that end time blessing. And remember, when they're talking about a two-state solution, no one has the right to say God was wrong when he named that land, not the West Bank, but he named that land Judea and Samaria. God bless you for being a part of end time Bible prophecy. I'm Pastor Larry. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.